Hey kids, I'm Minister Shauna Crockett, and I'd like to welcome you to Sunday Celebration Online. We're a wonderful place to grow in Christ. I'm so glad you've joined us today. We've got a lot of exciting videos and of course some great lessons from the Word of God. But first, let's catch up with our friend you know who. Yep, it's Chloe. Let's see what she's up to. And today, instead of calling Chloe on the phone, I just got a new smartwatch. So I'll just call her straight from here. Here we go. Oh, hey, Chloe, how are you? Oh, hi, Minister Shauna, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, Chloe. Hey, you look nice today. What are you all dressed up for? Uh, thanks. I got all dressed up because I have to like pray in children's church today. Oh, you're praying? Well, that's great, Chloe. Well, did your children's church teacher tell you you had to get dressed up to pray? No, but I thought that's what you're supposed to do, right? Yeah, well, of course. It's great to get dressed up in your Sunday best out of reverence and respect for God, but you don't have to be dressed up to pray. You can pray to God just as you are. So the hat, was that your idea? Oh, this hat? It's like from my Aunt Holy. I mean, Aunt Holly. Well, she spells her name with one L, so it's still Holly, but everyone else thinks it's Holy. Oh, well, your Aunt Holy or Aunt Holly or whatever you want to call her. She seems nice. Go on. Well, my Aunt Holly is my aunt on my dad's side, and she prays more than anybody I've ever known. So I thought I'd ask her to help me to learn more about prayer. Well, that's a good idea, Chloe. I'm sure you could learn a lot from her. So then what's the problem? Well, the problem is that like after I asked her to help me, I realized that she prays a little differently. Wait, I don't understand. What do you mean by differently? Well, differently as in not my style. Oh, Chloe, I'm sure you're just exaggerating. She can't pray that differently. Well, it's kind of a long story, but in order for you to understand it, you're gonna have to meet her, I guess. Hi, my name is Chloe, pronounced Chloe, and I want to be a better Christian. God will come through for Chloe. So I'm here today 
because Chloe, my little niece, she asked me to help her. She asked me to help her learn how to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for the young people who desire you, God. Thank you, thank you. Anyway, she asked me to help her because she has to pray. So I told her, I said, Chloe, you came to the right place because right here, this auntie, I've been praying my whole life. So I'm going to help you, girl. I promise I'm going to help you. But first, I have a little snack. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. God told me I could have a snack while I was praying earlier. So it's okay. I'm about to eat. So here, I have a bag of chips. I prayed over it. I anointed it with oil. It's a little slippery, yes. It's okay. I can still eat these chips. But I just want to pray over these chips some more. As I'm eating them. You can never pray too much. Don't let nobody fool you. You better pray over these chips that God blessed you with. Here I go. Thank you, God, for chip number one. The chip is small, but it's still going to be tasty because you gave it to me, God. Thank you for chip number one. She prayed differently. Girl, you wasn't lying. But differently is not the word. Actually, I don't know what word can describe what I just saw. And I will never eat another bag of chips again. Oh, Chloe, don't worry. I'm sure you're not that bad at praying. Let me hear an example of how you plan to pray at children's church. Um, I've been practicing a little bit. So let me show you what I have so far. Let me know what you think, okay? Dear Jesus, my name is Chloe. I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you. So, how's that? Oh, she's that bad. And those shouting shoes. How am I going to compete with that? Yeah, I guess you're right. The shouting shoes are hard to beat. But... The best thing is that prayer is not a competition. It comes straight from your heart. Like Minister Shauna, what am I gonna do? 
Like, how am I gonna pray at children's church if I don't even know what I'm doing? Can you help me? Don't worry, Chloe. You know that I'm always here to help you. So, I have some videos that can help you learn more about prayer and how to pray. Here they are. Let's watch. Hey kids, what do you think about when you think about prayer? Maybe you think about when your teacher prays in kids' church. Or maybe when your dad prays before dinner. Well, did you know that prayer isn't just for those times? You can do it any time. It's simple. All you need to remember is these three letters. P-A-L. Pray like a pal. First, praise. Tell God what you're thankful for in life. Did you know that every single thing we have is a gift from God? That's right. All those awesome things in life are because of God. Your clothes, your food, all your toys, your family, your house, everything. They all come from God, so we should thank Him every time we pray. Number two, ask. Bring your prayer request with a humble heart. Prayer isn't just about thanking God. You can always ask for things. You can ask Him for big things like new friends or a better relationship with your sibling. And you can ask Him for smaller things like a new toy or that mom makes your favorite food. But it's important to remember that even if you ask God for it, doesn't mean he's gonna give it to you. He's not a vending machine. We can't just boss God around and expect him to give us everything we want. We have to remember that he only gives us what's best for us. Last is to listen. Think about it. Prayer is just a way to talk to God. When we praise God and ask him for stuff, we're talking to him. But do you know how he talks to us? Through the Bible, so you should make a habit to read the Bible when you pray. God loves it when you pray like a pal. God wants to build a relationship with us, and the best way to do that is by talking. Think about your friends at school. Do you talk to them a lot? Probably, so we should talk to God a lot too. And the best way to do that is to remember to pray like a pal. Praise, ask, and then listen. Memory verse. Never stop praying. So kids, start using those three steps to prayer and remember to start talking to God. So don't just wait till your kid's church teacher and your dad prays. Start doing it all on your own. Hey kids, today we're gonna talk about a king from long ago in the Bible. He was in a real tough situation. His name was Jehoshaphat. All right, here's the story. Jehoshaphat is just chilling as the king. Everything was good in the kingdom until one day, the armies of the Moabites, Ammonites, and some of the Mayunites declared war on Jehoshaphat. Okay, so this is Jehoshaphat. This is the Moabites. This is the Ammonites. And these are the Mosquito Bites. Jehoshaphat was in some trouble. Yikes! What do you think Jehoshaphat did when he heard this terrible news? What would you do? Think about it. What do you do when things go wrong? How do you act when a friend is mean to you? Or when someone in your family is sick? Or when you get in trouble for something that you didn't do? Do you pout? Or hit something? Or cry? Want to guess what Jeho did? We call him Jeho for short. Jeho called all the people together and he did something really simple. Before he did anything else, he just prayed. And he told everyone else to pray too. He was king. He could do that. The Bible says that Jeho was really scared, but he didn't let that get in the way. Instead, he prayed such a great prayer that it's our memory verse this week. We can cry out to you to save us and you will hear us and rescue us. Jeho knew that God was the only hope for his kingdom. All of a sudden, all three of those armies turned on each other. What the <laughs> No, you don't. <laughs> Can you believe it? Jehoshaphat learned a big lesson about prayer. He learned that God hears and answers our prayers. So here's our key question for today. How does God want us to pray? It's real easy. Just try these three things. One, thank God. 
Start by thanking him for everything you have in your life. Two, pray for others. Think about what other people need and pray for that. And three, pray for you. Ask God to help you with what you're going through. And kids, remember, God wants to help us in every situation. So do what King Jehoshaphat did, pray. Wow, I really love those videos. I like the way the first video reminded us how we can pray. All we have to do is remember to pray like a pal. That's P-A-L. The P stands for praise. That's the part of the prayer where we tell God what we are thankful for. We can thank him for a place to live and clothes to wear and even food to eat. We can also praise him for the good God that he is. Then the A stands for ask. That's the part of the prayer when we ask him for the things we need. I like how the video reminded us that God is not a vending machine. We can't just go around demanding God to give us every single little thing we want. But I like the fact that God always knows our hearts and he gives us the things that are best for us. And the last letter L stands for listen. It's important for us to remember that after we've praised and asked God for the things we need, that we also need to listen. And when it comes to listening to what God is trying to tell us, I like that the Lord has given us a lot of ways to hear his voice. Sometimes we can hear what he's trying to tell us by reading the Bible, just like the video said. And other times, God will send us people in our lives, like our pastors and even our Sunday celebration teachers, to help us to understand the message that God is trying to tell his people. And how about that second video about King Jehoshaphat? He had how many armies that declared war against him? It wasn't one, it wasn't even two, but it was three whole armies. So what did he do in response to that? Yep, you're right, he prayed. He could have done a lot of other things because he was so scared, but instead the first thing he did was pray. He prayed that God would save and rescue him and his people. I also liked the way the second video reminded us that we can also remember three more things when it's time to pray. We should remember to thank God, pray for others, and also pray for ourselves. Let's go over some of the scriptures we learned today. But before we do, I'd like to show you a special Bible that I have. It's called the Tommy Nelson International Children's Bible. So if you have this Bible or another Bible at home, go ahead and take it out now and read along, or I can read it to you. That's okay too. Okay, here we go. So the first scripture that we want to remember from the first video comes from 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17, and it reads, never stop praying. And the second scripture from the second video comes from 2 Chronicles 20 verse 9b, and it reads, we will cry out to you when we are in trouble. Then you will hear and save us. So this week, remember to pray to God. You don't have to be dressed up to pray. You don't have to pray in a fancy way. All you have to do is pray to the Lord straight from your heart and he will hear you and save you. Now that our lesson is done, Let's check back in with Chloe to see how her prayer at Children's Church went. Take it away, Chloe. We're praying for you. Like, dear God, this is Chloe. I just wanna thank you for this great day you've blessed us with. And I also just praise you for who you are. I ask right now that you bless this Children's Church service like that we can learn a lot about you and grow in Christ. And I ask that you would open our ears to listen to what you would have for us to know. 
and I thank you for it all. In Jesus' name I pray, like, amen. Like Minister Shauna, I did it. I prayed at Children's Church today, and it's all thanks to you. Great job, Chloe. I knew you could do it. I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad that Chloe learned how to pray. And you can learn how to pray too. All you have to remember is to pray like a pal. That's P for praise, A for ask, and L for listen. Well, that's all the time we have for today. But before we go, I'd like to leave you with a special song. It's called, I Will Pray. And it reminds us that we can always talk to God anytime and anywhere. And I know one thing's for sure, I will never, ever forget Aunt Holy, I mean, Aunt Holly. That reminds me, I need a little snack. Wait, do you hear that? I wonder who that is. Hello? Oh, hi Aunt Holly. Oh, you heard I was eating a snack and you wanted to come over and pray over it? Oh, oh, no, 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 you don't have to come over here. Don't worry, Aunt Holly, I got this. Bye. Okay, here I go. Thank you, Lord, for this banana. I thank you for the peel. I thank you for the banana tree that it came from. Hey! <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Have a blessed week. Bye! No